Hello, you're right. Um, this is my first video, so please be kind. In my first video, I'm just gonna do like my everyday work makeup. I work in a hospital, so like I can't be all glam. Gotta kind of have it quite toned down. What's this space? Okay, hi, I'm back. My hair is now tied up. And I forgot to say before, like, subscribe, share, tell your friends, tell your mum, tell your dad, tell your sisters, brothers, grandmas, if I've got YouTube, tell everybody, you know. Okay, so first, I've uh, moisturised before all this. Um, I'll go in with my Revolution Conceal and Fix Mattifying Primer. I don't know if this will flip around or not, but. Um, so, I genuinely, generally, sorry, try to just put this all over. Just a little bit because it's quite a little bit really does go like quite a long way with this so you really don't need loads and then just rub it in i'm quite spotty at the minute but i don't know if you can tell on camera okay so when that is all smoothed over then then i tend to go in with my concealer which is revolution conceal and define you can tell yeah in shade C4. Love, love, love Revolution products. I just think they're amazing. Try to cover my bags. Because I have like quite a long trek to work on the morning, so I've got to get up like quite early. I've just got MTV on in the background as well. Just Saturday night, you know. Got my wine. Pretending I'm going out with my pals or my boyfriend, but I'm not because of lockdown, basically. Do I got any spots of anything you want covered? Black bags, birthmarks, whatever. <laughs> so once I've got that on, I get my beauty blender. This is a Beauty Bay's own brand. Um, uh, I just blend that out. I've just washed them today, so they smell really nice. So when all of my concealer is blended out, I then grab my foundation. Now I have my foundation in two shades, tan and not. But at the minute, because of the natural sun we've been having, I've kind of been blending them both. So I have both a Revolution Conceal and Define again. Amazing. My one for when I've got my tan on is F7 and my one for when I don't is F4. At the minute I've been putting F4 all over and F7 just on my cheeks and stuff. Like a little bit of a bronzer, just like dot it all over. I'm running out actually, I need to get some more. Order another beauty bay haul, I tend to do that quite often actually. Kept the postman in business during this lockdown, I tell you. All of the parcels I've been receiving. So I just dot this all over. And really with this a little bit does go a long way and it's quite it is quite full coverage but it's full coverage without being cakey so i found in the pattern i've got full coverage foundations that have been really cakey really thick on my skin but this it's not and it looks quite natural and then i just blend that in as well all over the face it goes all over does anybody else do that when they're putting the foundation on or anything or the makeup do this face they like stretch her. Do this out. Look so daft. So then, go in with my F7, which is my tan and one, which is my tanned one, sorry. Um, I just put that like on the middle of my face. It's kind of like a bronzing one. So I tend not to properly contour for work because it's like, who can be bothered, you know? I'm not really asked. Just cover, try and cover that spot that I've just done my head in. Okay, and then you grab a beauty blender again and blend that out. Just blend and blend and blend. And I always try to go just slightly underneath my chin, just so it doesn't like I've got like a tied line or a slag line or whatever. Now it's all blended out, I then get my setting, setting powder, so this is Revolution setting powder but I've had it for so long the label's actually worn off, 
so I think it was in shade banana but like I say the label is literally worn off on both sides I'm in desperate need of some more but obviously with this current situation I haven't really had a chance so just pat that out onto the I use a lid of an, my old setting powder which was my MUA setting powder and I just put that in there because this hasn't really got anywhere for you to put it unless you put it directly onto your face or onto the brush and I just find it gets quite messy so then I grab my beauty blender this one is really new so it looks super clean and then I just do that real quick and I put this just all over the face need some new powder okay put that all over the face my beauty blender is still quite damp actually i don't normally usually i don't usually like damp beauty blenders but i'm just gonna have to make it work so then i grab my bh cosmetics powder brush doesn't actually have a number on or anything no defining marks just looks like a powder brush though like it comes to a bit of a point at the top uh just brush that out like i say this is just for work so this is not how i do my normal makeup it's just do we have time on a morning like let me face set and stuff because i'd rather have that extra 15 minutes in bed and that's all blended over and all excess brushed off and then grab my contour and highlight palette which is revolution again i love revolution roxy Roxasaurus contour and highlight palette. Looks like that inside. So I tend to use that one and that one, just to like dab over the top of both. Um. So then I just grab my BH. This is also BH, all my brushes are BH. I think I'd have like the odd one that isn't, but I think all of them are. Um, BH Cosmetics. It's just like a flat-headed brush thing. I don't know. So yeah, like I said, get that one. And that one so just and then it comes off like quite pigmented so i tend to put like a lot on just in case because like, i don't want to have like ridiculous lines on my face for work so and then i go in with this really light one here and I'd use that to do my chin because I've got a double chin and um, I find if I use any darker one like it's already looking quite bad now if I find if I use a darker one like it just looks like I've put a line on my neck it's not a good look for anybody involved whoever has to see is or for me myself so okay so then I always leave my highlight to last so I'll come back to that then I get my blush, which honest to God, I basically just am a revolution rep because it always is the same. I get my revolution blusher, which is blusher reloaded in shade ballerina. In shade ballerina. I love this. It's so pigmented and so like pretty and pink and nice, but without being like too intense. So I just tap it on, tap off the excess. And then I always smile because we like got the apples. Give your cheeks better. Everyone's rosy apples. And I always feel like I find well, I should really be blushed better if I do that than if I just whack it on normally. I'm a bit of a nightmare, honest. So once I'm all blushed up, I then go in with my brow stuff so I don't want me do my brows for work just think it's just too much of a chore on to do your brows for work so I get got the benefit give me brow like brow gel stuff in shade number three so then I just go in and it is just like a mascara brush basically I don't know if you can see that okay so done all that I have got my mascara which is Rimmel London wonderful mascara with argan oil in shade black I don't know if you can see that and then I just go just a 
blow the mascara. I don't wear eyeliner or anything for work because again, it's just, I always seem to get one wing spot on and then the other one just goes completely sideways and not in a good way like eyeliner should be. Once that is done, I get back out my Revolution Roxy palette and I go in with, oh, I can't find it on this with another beige cosmetics brush it's like a big kind of eyeshadow brush i used to use the fan brushes like this but i just found that i didn't really like them i don't like how i didn't like how it applied me highlighter i thought it just went all over so for my highlighter depending on my mood i use either them two unless i want a more bronze look and i use that one go between the pink and the the white one just depends what I fancy and then I just really lightly brush over my cheekbones if the place is basically where the sun would naturally hit you brows on the nose and then I would normally put some on my lips but I I just have actually backstood but I haven't took the foundation on my lips yet so okay so when that is all done I then get my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Bible, best, best setting spray in the world. If you want a bit of a budget though, because I know this can be super expensive, um, so I've only got the mini one. <laughs> I use Revolution, any type of Revolution, or the Inglot one. I also love the Inglot Makeup Fixer. Okay, so I'll give that a good shake. Shake, 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 tomorrow. Right, okay, once you've done that, just, I tend to just go all around. I always ask for this off people for my birthday and stuff. NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in shade Shanghai. I don't know if it's going to look. Nah, it won't focus. Okay. And then I just put a really light layer on. Because it's don't want to look like too dull for it. Now it looks really bright on camera, but it's actually not that bright in person for my quick work look. Yeah, okay. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, send it to everybody you know. So that'll sit and watch me babble on for at least 10 minutes of their life. If they don't mind. Alright, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.